Stop right now, wherever you are. Imagine you're watching a robot perform for eight straight hours live in front of the world's toughest critics. No scripts, no safety net, no second takes. Would you expect it to succeed, to crash, or to do something so jaw-dropping it instantly breaks the internet? Welcome to the 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference, where Kepler's bumblebee humanoid robot just pulled off the unthinkable. This wasn't a staged video or a carefully cut highlight reel. This was the live moment where robotics, AI, and human reality collided in real time. And the aftershocks? They're only getting started. If you want to be the first to catch the next breakthrough and be part of the conversation that's shaping the future, hit subscribe now and tap the bell. On this channel, you get the real, raw, game-changing stories before anyone else. By the end, you'll have seen the drama, the science, the rumors, and the wildest what-if debates in AI. You'll even walk away with viral questions and a story that's already become legend. Let's dive in. 1. The AI Olympics. Why 8 Hours Changed the World. Let's set the stage. Every year, the World Artificial Intelligence Conference is where countries flex their AI muscle. It's the Super Bowl for robotics. China, the US, Europe, even the Middle East, each desperate to prove their vision will shape the century. But let's get real. Most robot demos are boring. We've all seen the viral outtakes. Robots tripping, freezing, or barely waving before they're wheeled off stage. Did you know? At Wayek last year, three out of five robots failed their demos live. So when Kepler Robotics, quiet, relentless, and not usually flashy, declared that their new Bumblebee robot would work, live, unscripted, for eight full hours, no backup, no staged tasks. If it fails, the world sees it all. Suddenly, everyone tuned in. Fund managers, factory owners, engineers, even kids at home. Bumblebee was about to become either the hero of robotics or the internet's next big meme. Would you bet your job on a robot outperforming you for eight hours live? Type yes or never. The world is watching. A Shanghai warehouse manager posted online, the week after our Bumblebee pilot, our line productivity jumped 40. Some workers called in sick, scared they'd be replaced. Should it be legal for companies to replace all humans with robots, if it boosts profits? Or should there always be jobs protected by law? Comment all in if you support full automation, human first if you want protections. 2. Anatomy of a Breakthrough Why Bumblebee isn't just a robot Let's talk about what made Bumblebee more than just another machine. Endurance Before Bumblebee, no robot had ever completed a public 8-hour shift. The world's best could manage maybe 90 minutes before a recharge or handler rescue. Kepler promised one hour charge, eight hours of operation, and delivered with the world watching. Dexterity, 11 degrees of freedom in each hand, a six axis force wrist. Imagine a robot able to pick up a phone, peel a banana, assemble a circuit board, or tie a shoelace. All live no off camera trickery. Did you know? Most robots can only grab or move one object. Bumblebee swapped between 20 different tools and objects, fragile glass, plastic, metal, never once dropping or breaking a thing. During the demo, a nine-year-old handed Bumblebee a surprise, a never-before-seen 3D puzzle made from a broken toy. No training, no warning, Bumblebee solved it live. The crowd went wild. That clip? Now viral on both Douyin and YouTube Shorts, racking up millions of views. AI Brain Bumblebee isn't a remote-controlled puppet. It perceives, adapts, and learns. If a child walks across its path, it stops. If an object shifts, it recalculates using vision, touch, and context. Best of all, every Bumblebee worldwide syncs its new learnings to the cloud. Would you want your job's best tricks uploaded for robots everywhere to learn instantly? Or does that cross a line? Should robots be allowed to learn and copy any human job on the spot, forever? Type learn if you're for open robot learning. Limit if you think some jobs should be protected. Three, where robots are already rewriting reality. So what does this mean in the real world, not just for engineers, but for everyday people? Factories and warehouses. The first Bumblebee pilots in Shanghai and Shenzhen are rewriting what automation means. Mini anecdote. Remove managers secretly ran a race. Can our fastest worker beat Bumblebee? Bumblebee packed, labeled, and sorted 22 Prusa faster. The human's prize? Lunch with a robot? Awkward, but true. 
Are you more excited by robots boosting safety and output, or do you worry about mass layoffs? Comment excited or worried. Your company is rolling out robots next month. Would you upskill to become a robot supervisor or resist and demand your old job stays human? Healthcare. In Germany and Japan, Bumblebee is already piloting as a companion and assistant in elder care homes. Some elderly patients report feeling less lonely since the robot always listens, never gets tired, and even tells jokes. Should robots ever be allowed to provide emotional support or even medical decisions to the vulnerable? Elderly kids or the sick? Type yes or no. Is there a line you won't cross? Education. Bumblebee can tutor, answer questions, and even adapt its teaching style in real time. Would you let a robot teach your child, or do you believe some things must always be human? Retail and public spaces. Imagine, your hotel concierge, supermarket checkout, or even daycare helper is Bumblebee. Would you be thrilled or creeped out? A Singapore luxury hotel chain is piloting Bumblebee as its new guest ambassador. Some guests rave about the service, others say it feels unsettling. Would you book a room or avoid it entirely? If you're still watching, you're one of the curious, the pioneers. Don't miss what's next. Subscribe and hit the bell now so you're always in the loop. 4. The Ripple Effect, Controversies, Global Moves, and a Robotic Cold War Bumblebee's demo didn't just make headlines, it sent shockwaves worldwide. A Stanford robotics professor called Bumblebee the inflection point for mainstream humanoid robots. Kepler's stock price jumped 19% in a single day. Tesla, Boston Dynamics, and SoftBank all reportedly called emergency meetings, rushing their own robot launches. Some governments are debating robot taxes, making companies pay into social funds if they automate too many jobs. Would you support a robot tax, or does that stifle progress? Should robots be able to join labor unions or even sue their employers? Sound far-fetched? In South Korea, one robot, Spokesbot, already filed a formal complaint about unsafe working conditions. Would you vote for a law banning robots from becoming police officers, judges, or political leaders forever? Type ban if you want strict limits. Allow if you think every job is up for grabs. After WAG, rumors flew that US, EU, and Japanese officials met in secret asking, how do we keep up with Kepler? Their memo leaked, triggering headlines across the globe. If your country is falling behind in robotics, would you move abroad, retrain for tech, or protest to protect old jobs? After Bumblebee, the question isn't, will robots arrive? It's, who will set the rules and who gets left behind? 5. The next decade. Robots everywhere, everything changes. Let's look ahead because this pace is only speeding up. 1 to 2 years. Bumblebee units are set to appear in warehouses, hospitals, luxury condos, and theme parks across Asia and Europe. Beijing is building robot lanes in major shopping districts for pilot programs. By 2027, Chinese cities could have more humanoid robots than shared bicycles. Imagine that on your morning commute. Three, five years. Mass adoption. Falling prices. Every small business, school, and family might have a robot. Would you buy one or fight to keep your life robot-free? Should robots ever have the right to say no to a human? If ordered to do something unsafe, unethical, or simply demeaning, does the AI get a choice? Type consent. If you support robot agency, obey if you think machines must always serve. Imagine a birthday or wedding where half the guests are robots. Would you love the novelty or mourn the human connection? Five to 10 years. Robots as first responders, caregivers, creative partners, even friends. But what happens when a robot knows you better than your spouse? When AI rights becomes the next civil rights movement? A Canadian hotline for robot rights fielded 200 plus calls in its first week, mostly from parents and teens wondering what the future holds. After Bumblebee, the boundary between human and machine isn't just blurry, it may be gone. Would you ever support a law banning robots from a certain job forever? Which job and why? Comment below and tag a friend. Let's make this the hottest debate on YouTube this week. The new normal. You've just seen the story that's redefining workplaces, boardrooms, schools, and dinner table debates. Kepler's Bumblebee isn't just a viral headline. It's a signal that the age of human-robot partnership has truly begun. If you want to lead, not follow, subscribe now and tap the bell so 
You're the first to see what's next. Comment below. Are you excited, scared, inspired, or just overwhelmed? Like and share if you want to get this debate trending. Share this with one friend who needs to see the future today. Thank you for watching and being part of the most important conversation of our era.